This video is to demonstrate how to automatically create a plugin when creating a regular ticket uh, in Jira using the C Prime PowerScripts plugin. And the way we're going to do that is by adding a post function to the workflow. So inside your project, we're going to uh, edit the workflow. and we want to add the post function to the create issue transition so I'm going to select the create, create issue transition and come over to post functions and I'm going to add a post function the post function we're looking for is the SIL SIL post function which is the C prime plugins All right, I'm going to create a new script. Just call it create subtask. And we'll leave it in, in the default location for now. All right. So here we can enter our script. And I'm just going to paste it in. What we have here is basically just setting the parameters. Uh, I'm setting the project to the project of the parent issue. I'm setting the key, the parent key, to the key of the parent issue. And then I'm defining the issue type as a subtask. I'm defining the summary as new subtask for, and then whatever the, the key of the parent is. I'm setting the priority to minor, leaving the description as blank leaving the components as blank. I'm setting the due date for 30 days from now, the estimate for one hour and 30 minutes, and I'm leaving the security level and any additional fields blank. But we could um, configure all of those if need be. And basically we're, we're just calling this function here and passing the parameters. So it's one line of code that creates the issue. And the second line of code links the new subtask the, this is a subtask key that we're defining in in the function on line 13. We're linked, so we're taking that issue, linking it to the parent key issue, which we define in line 2, and the link type of relates. So that's all there is to the script. And there's a post function. We just want to make sure that it fires last after everything else about the issue being created is done processing. So we'll just move that down to the bottom and we'll publish. Okay, so let's test this out. I want to create a new issue in my test project and story is the issue type that has the workflow that we just modified so that's good and I'll just call it test and create and here's our new issue that we just created test 357 and you can see we have a subtask that says new subtask for test 357 and it is linked just like we wanted it so now what happens or what would you do if you wanted to ask if you wanted to create a subtask when um, creating an issue so we can modify that to add in a checkbox so let's just go over to our custom fields we'll add a new custom field checkbox and we'll call it create subtask 
and we'll just give it one option of yes. And we're going to add it to the screen of the user story that we're using to test. And what should really be done is um, you should have a specific screen for create that has this uh, custom field on it and not the view and edit screens. All right, so now what we want to do is find our custom field and get the ID that was assigned to the custom field. And this ID, ID is automatically assigned by JIRA. So what we can do is if we just go to this link configure, we can see down at the bottom actually let's just go to there we'll go configure nope. well, I'm not recording the top but in the hyperlink I can get the custom field ID which is 14823 so let me go back and show you that um, on the previous screen there it's in our little pop-up on the bottom you can see the URL it's gonna say at the very end custom field ID equals one four eight two three so we need to remember one four eight two three so we don't need to go back into the workflow to modify this script we can go into the script manager that comes with the plugin and just edit the script there which is nice because you don't have to republish the workflow every time so here's our create subtask script and I'm just gonna come over here and we'll say if custom field 148 14823 is equal to double equal sign yes open our bracket go ahead and create the subtask and link the issue and then we'll close the bracket otherwise do nothing so let's check our script and looks good and we'll save it so now let's go back up and test this out so now if we hit create in the summary we'll say unchecked you can see our custom field create subtask at the bottom we're going to leave it unchecked and hopefully if we did it right there will be no subtask for this new issue and there's no subtask so now if we go back say checked and click that oh checked there it is our new subtask for test 360 and that's it pretty easy um, you can do the whole thing in just a couple minutes all right thanks for watching